Hi, welcome to Family DIY TV. I'm Mike. This is a Mamotion Yuka. This is a two-in-one mower. This has cutting blades up here and it has a bagger on the back. So you can have this thing cut your lawn and pick up the grass. This can also pick up leaves. It's also perimeter wire free. No wires that you need to install around your exterior or where you're cutting. You actually just walk this thing around like an RC car and then using the program, it will map out your backyard and cut it. I made a video about just the, the lawnmower part, okay? In this video, we're gonna go over the sweeper part, all right? Does it mow in the snow? It does not mow in the snow. That would be kind of weird to mow your lawn in the snow. Does it pick up the snow? <laughs> no, it doesn't pick up the snow. In this video, we're gonna go over how to put the sweeper together, okay? We're gonna show you how to set it up in the app, and then I'm gonna show you how it dumps. Oh, man. Oh. Let's get into it. Let's open this up. Looks to be a bag. Figure it all out. Do. All right, so we got our yucca here. So what we're gonna do is it says we need to pull these six screws out. All right, so this must be where the ridge, the battery is. We got two screws here. I'm gonna slide this in. And there's two screws here, right here, right here. And there's actually some tabs down here, right there, that you then screw these in. It's nice that they actually, the screws are kind of already in there. So we'll slide this in and then bolt it in, plug it in. So pretty straightforward, can't mess this up. So you got two plugs and again, everything is very high quality rubber grommets. Like this one has three rubber grommets on it just to make sure no moisture gets in there. So right now we're not doing anything fancy, just plug and play. You wanna plug them in until they clip and then we're gonna push them down. You can see here this white, this white piece is like a little seal so that no moisture gets in there. So this is weatherproof. So we'll put this back on and screw it back on. Now what we need to do is attach the handle. So this gets attached with four screws. So right on top of here. So the two, there's two bags. There's smaller ones and bigger ones. So the bigger ones are for the handle, I believe. Next step here is we're gonna grab this piece of plastic and this piece goes under here. Basically, I'm thinking this is just like a support, little spots for it. And then we're gonna put these plates over top, like so, and then run four screws in there using the screwdriver that they supplied. We're gonna use the little screws. Then we take the bag part and it clips in. So this is actually a little clip here. And we just run this around and push it in. Actually, this could not be any easier. Okay, and we take this and we clip it in, in here. But it sort of looks like this. So you can see the piece goes in and then it wraps around and clips inside there. I'm not sure if you're able to see that. All right, and this is what's gonna give our bag structure. And then we can take our bag and sort of just wrap it around this piece of metal. And then this attaches only here like so, All right, yep. So the last step here is to attach this counterweight counterweight I guess because this hangs off the back is to keep this thing from kind of wanting to tip up so it just comes off yep. so it just pulls right off slides on like so looks like it can all be done hand tight all right so these have these little channels these channels slide over these little pieces here so we're gonna push this in there we go slide it in then it locks then what we do is we gotta take this. Like I said before, all of the connections seem to be very high quality uh, connections, as far as I can tell. That's what this little plug here is for. So we're gonna take this, snap it on, and there we go. You get a positive feedback snap, so now you know everything's connected. That's the unit. All right, so now let's go get this thing set up. Look at that, it's got a camera on the front. And not only does it have a camera on the front, it's got a camera on the back too, and you can control it and see it with your phone. So if you're away, you can drive around your yard, Control your yard, pretty cool. All right, let's get into this. So what I wanna show you with the app is how to set up a dump zone. All right, so this has a bagger on the back. It will eventually fill up, okay? And then it needs to go dump. With this lawnmower, you can have two dump zones, okay? In my case, I have a dump zone there and a dump zone here. So we're gonna go into the app. I have two dump zones right now. So I'm actually gonna delete the one on this side, okay? I'm gonna re-add it. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to do that, okay? What I'm gonna do, we're gonna drive this over. I want the dump zone to be here. Okay. I'm gonna hit the create button and I'm gonna click dumping spot. Okay, and I'm gonna click 
the okay to go and I'm gonna drive it there. All right, so I'm gonna drive it there. Have it do a 180 and then I'm gonna click dump spot. Okay, now it's saying basically drive the robot out. So we'll do that, drive it out and we're done. When it's mowing, it's mowing on that side, it'll go to that dump zone. If it's mowing over here, it'll automatically figure it out and go here, okay? I like to cut my grass high, so I'm gonna put it on 10. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the app and we're gonna kind of set it off together. We'll open up the Motion app, okay? You can see I have my two dump zones down here at the bottom. These are actually down there in the woods. All right, now the connection here is a lot better than the Luba. The Luba, when it even get, it gets near the woods, actually loses connection if there's a tree above it. They've upgraded the Yucca to this new RTK. Now, I haven't had any issues with this losing connection or anything like that, so it's real nice. So we can go into the woods, completely fine, dump and come out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this area. We're gonna confirm this area, all right? And we're just gonna walk down. So frequency, we're gonna do only once, just for now. We, of course, are going to, we're going to mow. We have the option of just sweeping. So if it was like fall and you want to just clean up leaves, you can just turn on the sweeping and keep the mowing off, which we're going to do later in the season. But right now we're still mowing. Okay, so we're going to turn on the sweeping. And our dump inner bowl, I'm going to put it like basically right in the middle because honestly, I don't know how often it needs to dump. Okay, task speed, I'm going to leave it on uh, this. I'm going to leave it on one. Okay, my cutting path is going to be zigzagged. Is going to be zigzagged okay um basically zigzag just means that it's going to follow the lines and cut in a line okay i know it's a little weird uh weird way that they explain that the the path spacing this is how far over or how much it's going to cut per line so if you want it to like almost double cut or almost go over the same line a little bit each time you're going to keep it all the way on the bottom on 5.9 which you see and you'll notice the timing there now if you go all the way to the to the to the right and it goes to 11.8 you'll see the time drops down basically what this does is kind of um, will not double cut that line at all it'll cut just that line which is good and bad I usually just run it right in the middle and then what I do is every time I cut I usually just move it around a little bit I'll move it the spacing down moving up just so it's not always in the same rut every single time and it's moving it over a little bit each time all right now we can go to, I'm gonna to go to, um, or for our obstacle detection, I'm going to do slow touch, okay? Um, you could do direct touch. Direct touch pretty much turns off the cameras. This is multiple cameras. I'm gonna have slow touch. So what'll happen is uh, when it detects something, it'll kind of slowly drive up to it, touch it, confirm that it's there, and then go around it. So I like slow touch, okay? Um, you have less touch and no touch as well, but I like slow touch. Perimeter, mowing, laps. I like to just do one. This is the perimeter of the yard. I usually don't keep it on one, but you can go zero all the way up to four, up to you. No go, again, it'll go around all the no go areas. You gotta go one, two, three laps. I like to just leave it on one. Um, uh, path order, I usually keep it on perimeter first. So what it does is it does the perimeter first and then it does the middle. Um, I think if you put it on zigzag first, it does the middle and then does perimeter. It's really, I don't think it really matters either way. All right, and then the relative angle, absolute angle, random angle. I usually leave it on relative angle. And what you can do here is you can play with the angle. All right, if you leave it at 0%, let's just leave it at zero. What I like to do is to figure out exactly what the angle is gonna be, we just click on the preview, all right? And if we zoom in, so if I looked out, this is the house, that little box there. I can see that it's gonna just cut straight lines, right? Down my lawn, so straight lines, just going that way. You can actually see the old lines there. Now, if I don't want it to do that, let's say I wanted it to cut like this way or cut this way, I could do that. I can just mess with the cutting path. So let's go to, let's just go to 75%. You just gotta kind of play with this a little bit, but let's see what 75% looks like. We'll preview it and you'll see here now it's cutting this way. All right, so you can play with this do whatever you want. I'm putting it back to zero. I like to see the straight lines. But this is nice when maybe the grass is a little bit longer and you want to cut it higher and you want to kind of have that double cut. Maybe you forgot to mow your lawn. 
which you really shouldn't because this has a scheduling feature up above. You can do weekly, a specified date, fixed interval every couple days, something like that. But I usually like to just manually do it in my lawn. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this thing off, check out, see how it dumps, and I'll be coming back throughout the time it's cutting. You're gonna see it's gonna take 266 minutes, or 266 minutes. It doesn't matter to me because I'm not doing it. It's gonna do a self check. Oh. Now, I just looked out and it's not moving. And I'm looking at my phone, warnings here. Failed to adjust the roller. The camera's dirty. I guess it's dirty up here. It's got a windshield wiper. Yeah. So that's what's wrong. This grass is wrapped around the roller. It's jamming it. So this grass is probably way too long, you know? Uh, so this is sort of my fault. All right, now that we cleared the jam, let's get this thing going. So I'm just gonna go into the app and it says, continue. All right, so we'll let it finish and hopefully get it while it's doing its dump thing. <laughs> All right, so it's the morning and this thing has been cutting. It was cutting overnight, but I got a notification this morning that said it ran out of battery. And when I came out, this is how I found it. So this is the second issue I've had, both user initiated, meaning my fault. Uh, you're not supposed to put this on a hill. So what happened was it actually got high sided and just spun the wheels and just sat here and basically ran out of battery. So this is my fault. So what we can do is I'm gonna push it up there, which yeah, see, it's really hard. Stop there we go. So I think it got high sided with this mulch, meaning the mulch was higher than the wheel. So the wheels just basically spun in the air. Um, again, shouldn't put it on a hill. So that's the second issue I had, both my fault. First one was too long of grass, uh, which basically bound the sweeper up, my fault. What's up dog? The second one was have putting the charger on a hill and then it getting high sided. Again, my fault. So, you know, it kind of is what it is. Let's see, it did dump here. So I have two dump spots. This is what it dumped here. And what you see now, it actually did dump last night. So this is my deck second dump spot. So that looks about two dumps, maybe three dumps. And I have a path right through here with the app. I'm real excited for when all the leaves drop. Because as you can imagine, I have a lot of trees here. And what I'll be able to do in the fall is turn off the cutting blades, but have the sweeper go out there every single day. And I can have it, I can have it go out multiple times a day. And I could just set up an area back there and have it kind of keep going back and forth, cleaning up the leaves, dumping them, cleaning up the leaves, dumping them. So if you do that every single day, it's not gonna be a lot of work. It's like a little bit of work every single day by the robot. And I should be able to have a pretty clean lawn back there. So real quick, because it's making some weird noise. Oh, there's a stick. In. And again, this is the same problem I had before with the long grass. So once you get the grass cut to a level that's acceptable to this, I don't think you're gonna have this problem of the grass getting stuck in here. But this is just a testament to follow the instructions. You keep hearing me say that my grass is probably too, is too long for this yucca. What I'm gonna do while the yucca is running, I'm gonna send the lube out. I'm wondering if this works. This might be a terrible idea. Is this gonna work? Can I send two lawnmowers out at the same time? Yeah. So we're gonna have dueling robots, but I really need to get ahead of this grass. We had a lot of rain. I didn't cut it. I was on vacation, got back, and the grass is just really long. So, well, that was close. That was my fear that they were gonna run into each other and they got that close to each other. Probably not the best idea. So we saw it dumped over there. Really neat. And it's gonna travel all the way back. All right, so that is the Mamotion Yuka two-in-one lawn sweeper. Like I said earlier, I did a detailed video on how to actually set the mower up, okay? How to set the perimeters up, how to set up no-go zones. So I'll put a link to that video right here, all right? If you wanna pick something up like this, I'll put a link down below. You click on the link, pick it up on Amazon. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. But I'm Mike, found with DIY TV, and I am Mamotion Yuka two-in-one lawn sweeper doing donuts right next to me, out.
Are you jealous of doing donuts? Yeah. Morning. I should do STI out here in the backyard and do Yucca donuts and STI donuts. And spill all. I'm gonna send it back to the recharge oh station. Go back to your home on 